Waste and ingenuity. This could be Rwanda's motto. The first African country to have imposed a ban on plastic bags is particularly committed to environmental protection and recycling. In our report, we meet Jean de Dieu Kamana, who employs 17 people to make shoes and furniture out of used tires. A story by Temistok Hakizimana in Kigali. Take a look. Who would have imagined that a creative mind and dedication to the industry of home furnitures or flower vases could make a difference in how a country deals with pollutants? This is exactly what the Cinda Business Group Workshop does with All Tires, an original and very useful processing company in Rwanda where the waste recycling rate is about 12%. Today, we do not throw away or burn old tires. Thanks to the innovation, we can do a lot of different things with them. It is a precious material. We collect and store them to sell them. Before, it was a real problem to find a way to get rid of it. But now, we make a real business out of it, like gold. Welcome to the Tsinda Business Group Workshop. Here, tires are transformed into shoes home and office furniture, flower vases, but also household items. The company was created by Kamana Jean de Dieu in 2017 and today employs more than 17 people. The idea came from the former profession of the founder, which was precisely to sell tires. The idea of making different things from old tires came to me because I saw old tires everywhere and I thought it was a material that could be exploited instead of burnt or thrown into the wild. Often people would visit me at work and like to sit on the old tires that I sold and that's how I got the idea to make chairs and other things from this precious raw material. Jean de Dieu Kamana's workshop can manufacture about 15 pairs of chairs. In a week, the price for a pair of chairs is around $5,200, while other items like flower vases can cost $4 to $6 a piece. These chairs are unique, from design to painting. Every customer finds what he's looking for here. Right now, I'm painting chairs ordered by a military man, so these chairs will be painted based on colors from the military uniform as he wished for. Our colors are attractive, with traditional shapes. Thus, our products are unique and highly appreciated by our customers. This innovation has enabled some young people to escape unemployment which seems to be constantly growing among a large part of the population. I started this work when I was still a student. After school I came to work here, and this allowed me to fund the end of my schooling. It's the job that I like right now. I'm no longer a burden on my family. On the contrary, I help my brothers who are still at school. The Kamana workshop wants to compete with imported furniture sold at a high price. When I see all these people from modest backgrounds who cannot afford expensive furniture, I tell myself that it is my responsibility to provide them with materials that they can put in their households and that will allow them to live like the others. It encourages me to innovate even more, not to mention my contribution to the protection of the environment. This initiative has enabled many middle-class citizens who, for example, cannot afford the expensive imported furniture that cost more than $2,000 to obtain comfortable lounge chairs. Their products can be spotted in many neighborhoods and homes, and they are making a difference. Their products are artistic. There is a difference with other materials sold elsewhere in terms of resistance and comfort. So I was interested. I was attracted by their colors. Once they are placed in the house or in the garden, it is really pleasant. In terms of design, it looks really nice. Moreover, the price is affordable for everyone. The Rwanda Environment Management Authority, the RIMA, estimates that the daily volume of municipal solid waste 
is between 1,800 and 2,000 tons, and that only 12% of it is recycled. This initiative has saved the environment tons of used tires that would end up piled up in garages and would aggravate pollution. Rama is fighting hard to find a sustainable solution for this waste. Actually, the management of old tires is as complicated as uh, any other scattered uh, solid waste. We are tackling it uh, together with stakeholders, municipalities, and other, um, other friendly institutions we are working with. We are, we are advocating for um, a proper handling and management of our waste, being solid waste, being tires, being any kind of waste that can be a source of uh, air pollution once in contact with fire, we are trying to make sure they are cleaned up from uh, the environment. Thanks to the efforts of Tsinda Business Group to reduce such waste in the country, the burning of waste tires, which is the main cause of emission of harmful air pollutants, has been significantly reduced. The Rwandan government has set a target to increase the recycling rate of non-organic solid waste to 40% by 2030.